Hi, I'm LaDonna Briggs from Sweet Potato Pie Nursery, and I am cleaning up some Lee Middleton dolls. I've already cleaned this one up, taken her apart with the dry eraser and gotten all the dirt off that I could. And I'm gonna plan to paint the heads even though it has this ugly thing part on it. I'm still going to try to just paint this. And I'll probably fill in with a little bit of clay back here and then kind of seal it. Um, and I'll show you the steps. I've washed the hands. I still see some dirt on that with this dry erase. This is really a good way to clean. I don't know if you can see the dirt on that hand, but see how it just cleans it right off. So anyways, we'll, I'm going to wash these bodies since they're so terribly dirty. And I would not want to give this to somebody this dirty and I don't want to give any nasty stuffing. So we're gonna, the plastic pellets are reusable. I'm working on this head now and I've saved the plastic beads. I'm gonna set those aside and I hope I don't spill them. Now I'm trying to get this glue off. You can see this nasty glue on the back of the head. So I'm just gonna take a knife and I'm gonna kind of cut it off. This is on really hard and this will take it off. All right, I've um, blended together some Sculpey clay. I couldn't quite get it to look right, but that's okay. Cause I am going to paint over this and I'm going to fill in these holes. And I am going to go over this with E6000 glue so that it will stay. All right, I've got my razor blade and I am going to kind of try to cut some of this actually. I got a little deep there, but just kind of trying to smooth this. Because some of this I won't have to fill in with clay. Right, pretty good. And I'll probably smooth some of this in right here. And I will have to bake this. I don't know that I even would need this clay though, honestly. I do kind of hear. And I'll go ahead and leave it here. But I'm pretty pleased with that because I just want it smooth and it'll be a lot easier if I don't have to fill in a lot. But I'll go ahead and do this one and we'll see how it turns out. I've never done it before, so. I have a added clay ears and stuff before, but these are my first Lee Middletons that I'm trying to fix, so we'll kind of see how this turns out. But I think it's gonna work because I'm gonna, you can buy glue for, um, this kind of clay, but I'm going to use E6000 glue, and I have done that before on another doll that I burnt this place in, and then I just went over it with the glue, and then I had to put matting varnish, but okay, that's pretty smooth. I'm probably going to work on this just a little more, but I want you to see kind of what I'm doing to make this a rounded I'm going to bake this as soon as I get this on. And then we're gonna put the glue on it and let it dry and then. All right, I've made a little mixture of pink and I am going to blush all the parts. I kind of thought pink might look cute. Um, maybe it won't. I got a spot on there that I couldn't get off, but that's okay. So I'm just going to quickly wash this baby. And since I have two of them, I'm gonna be doing both. And I will bake these while the heads are baking. And I'll use this same color on the face. And if, as you can see, I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm just doing a little bit. They don't have to be. 
All right, I've gotten these out of the oven. Got little beads falling out, and so this has been baked. So I'm going to go ahead and blush these a little bit before I rebake them and put the E6000 glue on. Now, I'm just showing that I'm not doing a whole lot of blushing. I'm going to make eyebrows on them. Probably got a little darker there than I wanted. I might put a little bit of blush up here. On this eyelid. Kind of right there. I'm going to use my little bit pinker right there. Maybe the inside of this nose and the top of the nose will do a little blush. So not a lot. Um, it already kind of has some pink on the lips. So we might freshen that up. going to do a lot. Probably want a little darker if I'm going to do some creases, so I'm going to get a little bit darker there. And go around the nose get a little darker. All right, I'm using a little bit of my raw umber that I'm going to do the hair with. And I mixed it with a little bit of the blush color because I think I did all that too um, red. And I'm kind of doing a little bit of creasing with this darker color that I've made up right here. It's just, I'm trying to keep this simple, but I want it to look cute too. And this doesn't take much time. I'm doing the insides of the nose kind of around this. And I think I will do the creases up here with it. Just a little bit. I want to still leave the pink look, but we'll give it a little more depth here with a little bit of brown, since this is a darker skin baby. And maybe right here on the chin and in here. Okay, so now I'm going to do the eyebrows. Here's kind of where they're at already. And eyebrows take a while sometimes for me to get just right, so bear with me on this one. I'm going to move my camera a little bit and try to steady it. One, do the same thing on it. And I'm using quite a little bit of glue. Make sure I got the middle. Yep. And this one has a little bit more. So we're going to go around it. Just trying to kind of smooth this because this is going to dry and then I'm just, it's going to be what it is. Okay. All right, I am using a matte varnish and putting it over this ugly spot. And I'm going to do this with both the dolls and it's okay even if it looks chalky when it's done but I will bake it and cure it and I'm going to do it for the next one I have a little black mixed in with that but it won't matter 
and I just did a matte varnish and I'm just trying to get rid of this really yucky shine so it's pretty thick so that I can paint over this and I'm going to bake it and I have the eyebrows on both the babies now and I'm going to bake and then I'm going to clean up this mess so that we can paint hair I'm getting ready to reattach the limbs and because I have a lot of these beads because I'm going to put actual um, glass beads in the stomach. I'm going to fill up the arms with these. And the reason I'm not using glass beads in the arms is because these aren't made quite as sturdy as the reborn bodies. And I don't want to put too much weight and rip the seam. So if this does rip apart, though, it will be a mess. But seems to be sewn pretty good. And I guess there could be worse things than all right, I am painting this with raw umber, and then I'm pouncing it, and I'm just trying to get kind of a darker area. I'll show you kind of where I've done it. I'm trying to do this quickly and not spending tons of time on these dolls. And I'm going to try to blend this now that I've got it with my sponge, just kind of blending this edge. Because I'm going to paint the hair over this. All right, there is kind of a quick look and I'm going to come back. And here's the second one. And I did get rid of some of the shine. And I'm just painting over this with the raw umber, as you can see. I'm getting a little mineral spirits to get it to spread. But these are going to be pretty quickly done. See, I'm hiding all that ugly on the top. Now you could spend more time if you wanted. Mine are donation dolls. And I'm my friend that does finds these dolls for me. Some of them aren't in the best shape, so I want them to be fun to hold and feel good to play with and I want them to look cute but I don't want to spend hours working on them. That way I can do more in my time than if I were to spend a lot. Because you know I usually spend three or four hours painting hair on a doll and these I would like to get done pretty quickly. and. 30 minutes or less, and I think you want to make sure you blend this and the edges. See how that's blending? Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to get this done, and I'm going to come down here and around. I'll kind of show you the pattern I'm going to come around this with. And you can get your uh, sponge a little wetter so you can blend it a little better. All right, I'm going to come back. This is the part that you're going to add detail. I'm going to show you my brush. 
I'm using. This is one that I made myself. And I'm going to kind of quickly add some hair. This is, I'm using black and this raw umber together. I'm going to mix them together right here. Now, you see I don't have to put that much detail because I've already got it filled in black. See how I'm coming along here, I'm making a little edge. And I'll come back with my other, I'm going to come up here at the top, kind of like I do all my babies. And I'm gonna make my swirl. come back up and put some little fine hairs. See, isn't that already, he's already looking pretty cute. Now I'm gonna do this other side. Now I'm going to fill in with some, I wanna pick up some black so that it will show better. There's not a lot of um, lines showing, but there's enough. I got a I picked up a little more black because um, I have it pretty dark. You could go lighter, but I was just wanting to have to do less painting. And you can kind of see how that's coming along. I don't even think I'm gonna need to try to put a swirl on this because um, it wouldn't show up. Okay, I'm going to come and try to match up these sides. I want to make sure I bring it down low enough that you, I get some wispy hair down here. I just got some pain on my ear, so I'll have to wash that off later. I'll get me a clean sponge. But anyways, I wanna bring this down so that I have wispy hair here and probably pick up a little more black because I want this there. Pick up a little more black here Now, I think I'm going to put this brush up because I wanna do a little bit more fine detail now to make this look like I would want my babies to look. So I'm going to pick up some raw umber because raw umber is a little lighter than the black and I wanna do, make this kind of softer right here. And I'm using kind of a a liner right here and I'm going to soften the hairline now this is not going to be as detailed as my other babies and I'll show you one of my heads I finished right here this is a bigger head I finished but you can see I do a a lot more detail this one I'm just I'm doing a whole lot less okay I think she's really looking cute 
picked up a little bit too much color. It's kind of a little nick right there. So I'm gonna to try to hide it with a little bit of color. I'm going to bring these eyebrows down and on this side too, and I need to soften this color here. If you can see that, it's a little bit too bold. Now I wanna look at her from the front again and let's see what she looks like. Now, like I said, this isn't anything whoopee, but she's pretty cute. And after I get her eyelashes on, I think she is gonna be a fun play doll for a little child or for a resident at the resting home, something to cuddle. So I might work a little bit longer on this and then I'm going to move on to the next head, but she's pretty close to being done and I think she looks cute. I'm coming back to this again. I want you to remember that this is raw umber, not burnt umber, but raw umber because burnt umber isn't as dark. This is a dark brown and I'm, I want this to cover pretty thick in the back. I mean, almost where you don't really see any detail in the back because I'm covering this ugly boo-boo spot that we clayed and then all right I'm going to have to have a little bit more mineral spirits in my dish I'm wanting it pretty thick I'm going to sponge some more. I'm trying to show you the steps so that when you do this on your own, and you know, these dolls will be a lot easier if you don't have to replace the bodies or wash the bodies. If all you had to do was take off the head, then it would be simple. I think having to wash the body made mine a little bit more complicated, but not every doll has a body that's as dirty as these were, so. Okay, I think that that looks pretty good. I'm going to blend this down a little bit more. All right, I'm starting on the second head. This one I'm gonna do a little different. I'm doing just solid black at the very base. And I think this is going to work out better because I went back and I kind of touched this other one up and I put solid black because I thought it just looked cleaner. So she's done. And I'm going to try to blend this now. isn't going to be perfect but we're doing the best we can I'm doing the best I can just to make it look really cute I'm going to pick up a little more and kind of blend this and then a few if I get it darker up top then I don't have to do as much detail up there but then the hairs will show down lower around the face and the edges so that's kind of my goal and that's why I'm doing it lighter in places. Okay, now I'm going to take my brush like I did the last time, my homemade brush. Let me get a little more raw umber out. And I'm going to pick up this paint in it.
and come up around the face, kind of wispy. I will touch this up later. And then I'm going to come here and bring it around because I want there to be some kind of bangs. And I want it to look wispy. This is a similar thing I did with the other rest home babies that I made. Okay, now that I kind of have a little bit of a pattern, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back of the baby around the edges. Because I want these wispy hairs. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Some more on the ear. I'm kind of being a slobby today. It looks a little more realistic if you can bring some of this hair down. Now I'm going to switch brushes again. I'm going to use a liner, and this is one that kind of separates, so I kind of like it because sometimes I can get two hairs with it. So it wasn't really meant to separate, but I kind of like it because of that. And I'm going to paint a little more detail. I'll probably pick up some black now because it will stand out more. Now I'm going to soften that a little bit. don't want it to look quite that. So I'm going to pick up in my brush a little more raw umber. Let me make sure I get these correct because they look the same sometimes. That says, uh, that's raw umber right here. Get me a little bit more mineral spirits. And I'm going to pick up some raw umber around the edges to lighten it. Now, I want to darken this up top a little bit. And I have kind of a little boo-boo I need to clean up. I'm looking for my clean sponges. I'm not seeing it. That will work. Now, I want to bring this curl down darker here. So I'm going to pick up some black now. Because there's really no detail up at the top, but this is my detail right here. So I want it to have a little bit of a form here. So it looks kind of babyish. I'm going to work on this side a little bit, picking up some more black. This is kind of mixed with raw umber. And you can see some places here that aren't completely covered, so I will come back to those. And I will clean up all this mess down here. A little bit of lighter around the edges again. I like to have my eyebrows kind of touch. And I'm going to try to get a little less paint, and I'm going to try to even do a little more tiny hairs around the face. The more you can soften it sometimes, the more realistic it will look. Bring that down a little lower. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm going to fill in some stuff. And that looks kind of hideous there. I didn't do much to this side, but I will go ahead and finish working on these. I don't plan to spend a lot more time 
I will touch up on some of this detail and fill in and clean up before I bake. But you kind of have the general idea and I will get these babies put together and then I will show you them before I donate them. All right, I am going to root some lashes. I have this baby just out of the oven. So we are going to put some lashes in. I didn't have black mohair like I would have liked to have had, but this will work. So I'm just poking into the crease. And I will come back and finish this. I just finished this first Lee Middleton doll. I put a little teeny tiny bit of hair here for her. And she has the darker brown body that I did wash. And I found these uh, pacifiers. I bought these at Walmart. It's called a Super Soothy. It's got hair stuck on it because I rooted her hair. But anyways, they fit perfect inside their mouth. So if you can't find one, you can buy it. And the super ones that say super are harder. So they poke in better. I think she is absolutely precious. And I'm going to get her dress and I'm going to get the other one together. But she's weighted, she's heavy. I think a little girl or a nursing home resident is going to just love her. Alright, this is the second baby. I have her finished and also her head and it also doesn't break up. It doesn't look perfect, but I think she looks really, really cute. And I'm going to stuff this body and instead of putting the plastic beads that I'm still tripping on over the house, I'm putting in glass beads. I would say both these babies taking apart all the limbs, washing the bodies. Um, I had to do quite a little bit. It took a couple hours to do both. But I would say if you were only painting the head that you could probably get this baby done in less than an hour. And she would look really cute. Okay. I think I am ready to attach this head. I did um, glue the eyelashes on on the inside. And she feels pretty heavy. We are going to attach her head. And we will have both these babies done. And I will come back and show you the finished baby here in just a minute. I have both babies done now. I've taken up the back of the sleepers and I am going to dress. And I picked something with long feet, you know, with the, the footed sleeper because I want to hide the material since these aren't the best bodies. And these are newborn size from Jimboree. I think it's gonna fit perfect. I've made them each a different um, bonnet. See how much nicer the neck fits now that I have it. See if you can see her, there she is. If you can see it better since I took it up. And then I have either a tie-on bonnet. I think I'll put on this one. And then I have just a regular little hat that I need to cut off some strings. I kind of alter these to fit. So either or. But I think I'm going to put this one on her. And she has a little bit of rooted hair. 
got her sucky. There she is. I think she is just precious. Precious little babies finished and I just wanted to show them.